Hello and welcome back to Rails Quest. Today I'm going to show you how Rails 8 really accelerates the solo developer dream. I'm going to show you an app that I built in just a couple hours that I've been using and my kids have even been using. And I'm going to just tell you very briefly about how I used AI to accelerate the process and how I used Rails 8 as a solid foundation for building everything you see here. So one of the challenges as a solo developer on a project is you have to wear all the hats. You have to be the security guy, the designer, the backend engineer, the integration guy, everything. Especially if you're building an app that integrates with an API, then you have to know how that API works and become an expert in that. There's a lot of skills involved with building a full stack application, no matter what tools you're using. Well, Rails takes care of a ton of the complexity involved in doing this. You can use AI to accelerate the process even further. So the way that I envision it in my mind is Rails is already there accelerating and supporting the solo developer in just about every capacity you can imagine. When you add some AI assistance to the mix, that just means you get to delegate some of the things you care less about right now to the AI. Maybe you'll pick them up and refine them yourself later, but for now you can delegate a few things, pay a couple bucks to an AI, talk about cheap developer help, and you get something that's at least decent, halfway decent out of the deal. So I'm gonna show you this app that I've been working on. This app is called Author Launch, and you can see I've got a little bit of a landing page here, delegated completely to AI, by the way. The design is delegated to AI. The AI came up with the color scheme I just kind of described. I want it to look book-ish and something that's kind of rustic, and it came up with this color scheme, which is kind of nice. Maybe it's not the best thing in the world, but it's, it's decent, right? And it's certainly readable. So you can sign up for a free trial. It highlights some of the features that either exist already or I've got planned. And let's take a look at the projects. So this is just a listing of the projects that I have in the app. You can take a look at one that's in progress. I dumped a bunch of context in here and the app generated, we're going to look at this in just a moment, it generated chapters and it generated sections within each chapter. Let's create a new project. So we've got a title and a description. You can set the status to draft and you can add some context. I'm gonna skip the context for now, just for the sake of the demo. Now we're gonna click the outline button. As you can see, the AI model request was successfully created. So right now the AI is working on generating an outline for the book. Here we have the outline, introduction to app demo, why demo skills matter. So you can see it's a very complete outline, pretty thoughtful. And under each section, there is a button that says write. Let's click that. And it writes this section of the book. So that's pretty much what the app does today. It is an, a glorified AI ghostwriter. There's a lot that we could do with this app. I would love to add some editing capabilities, but my kids and I have been having a lot of fun writing our own books. Uh, my kids have made little stories with it, and I think I'm going to keep adding features to this project. If you're interested in getting access to it, I can definitely do that for you, so just reach out on one of the platforms where you can send me a direct message. Let's take a quick look at what happens when I change the color scheme. This is something that would have been difficult for me to do as a solo developer, especially someone who doesn't have a lot of design experience or expertise. My, my focus has been mostly technical, but the AI was able to generate two passable color schemes and easily implement them using Tailwind. So I have a light theme and a dark theme. And let's take a quick look at the code. This broadcast refreshes, that's built into Rails with Turbo 8. That is what allows a, a Turbo Stream connection so that you saw the seamless transitions when the AI would update the UI that you were seeing inside the app. That's what powers that. And we've got some standard Rails stuff. We've got something the AI model request tracks the progress. And this is where the magic happens, request from AI. We're using my own RailsQuest AI library to interact with, in this case, we're using the Claude model. And I'm just using the default Claude model. We set a system message, we add a user message, and we specify the JSON schema that we expect to get back. And that's where the magic really happens. It uses, uh, under the hood, we're using Open Router, and it uses the Tools API there. Uh, and Open Router translates that into 
something that the specific AI provider supports. And the JSON schema tells it exactly how to structure the data that it gives us back. So instead of just giving us a big blob of markdown or text, we get back structured JSON data. And you can see on success, I very simply assign the attributes that I get because I can be confident that the AI is giving us exactly what I asked for because I specified it in the JSON schema. And of course we can do some error handling. So that's about all the time for demoing the code that I have today. If this uh, whetted your appetite to see a little bit more about how this works, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Reach out to me via DM. Again, if you want access to this, th this is the one that's running locally on my machine, but it is deployed to a secret location <laughs> because this is just a side project I'm hacking on. But if, if it gets enough interest, then sure, why not? We can get some users in there. If you'd like to know how to build Rails 8 powered AI powered applications quickly, like I said, in just a few hours, this, this took, and, and it's only a few hours because I obsessed a little bit over some of the details that I didn't need to obsess over. But that's because it's a creative outlet for me. It's, it was just a little bit of fun. But if you want to learn how to knock these projects out fast, please do reach out. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by liking, following me, subscribe to the channel. And with that, have a blessed week. I'll see you next time.